Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I've received through the mail uh, Muscle Beach written by Marla Matza Rose. It's available on Amazon.com and uh, I think it's even available in the European Amazon as well, Amazon.de or Amazon.co.uk. And as you can read from the title, Muscle Beach, where the best bodies in the world started a fitness revolution. It's a little book I've been wanting to get for a little while. Uh, mainly because it focuses, of course, on the golden era of bodybuilding. Um, the story here, this is the blurb, the story behind America's iconic patch of sand, Muscle Beach, California, almost half a century before health clubs, fitness videos and weight training became an American obsession. A pioneering enclave in Santa Monica, California, started the physical culture boom. In the 1940s, Jack LaLanne, Vic Tanny, Joe Gold, Les and Pudgy Stockton and others like them drew thousands of visitors to the beach to watch their feats of strength and acrobatic displays. la di da di da So um, I'm going to just go quickly through it, just give you a quick uh, peek at the kind of um, chapters that you can find in such a book. I haven't read it. As I said, it just came through the mail. And um, the chapters you can read here, Foundations of the Modern Fitness Movement, Exhibitionists, The Beginnings of Muscle Beach, uh, Chapter 2, The Muscle Comes to Muscle Beach, Chapter 3, The Women of Muscle Beach, Four, the Salon of Figure Development, the Gym Explosion. Five, the Entrepreneurs. Six, the Performers. <coughs> Teachers and Students is Chapter 7. Eight is the Nature Boys. Nine, Into the Mainstream. Ten, the Downfall of Muscle Beach. The Rise of the Pit. Now, the Rise of the Pit, from what I understand, that is also known as the, the Dungeon, which was a gym where Dave Draper and many others used to train in which all later migrated to Gold's Gym when, uh, uh, when Joe Gold built uh, Gold's Gym. Lifelong fitness and an epilogue present and future. Quickly flicking through it as I always like to when I receive new books. There's some really old nostalgic photos uh, I can imagine in, these particular, in this particular book. Here's, we have many, um, I'm assuming, of Pudgy Stockton and, and the others that were um, mentioned. Yeah, there's, there's lots of cool photos, I'm pretty sure, of um, these physic... Oh, what's this? Oh, no way. This is what I like about getting books, especially when they're used. So this is a used book. It's not completely brand new. And it looks like I've got... Oh, my God. It's a Jack LaLanne article from a newspaper clipping. Oh, man, that's going to... That's going into my special files. I've never seen that before. That's pretty awesome. The Ageless Apostle of Muscle. <laughs> That's a bonus. That is sweet. Um, anyway, I'm getting back to the book. Uh, this is a very famous photo of George Eiferman. He's uh, lifting an 135-pound dumbbell while blowing a trumpet. <laughs> you may find that on the, on the internet. Um, but yeah, as I imagine, there's going to be lots of photos, nostalgic photos of Muscle Beach. Again, here we have now Reeves, Steve Reeves, George Eiferman. I'm going to just uh, perfect that now, that's better. Reeves, Eiferman, uh, who was Les and Podgy Stockton, and some Hawaiian dude. <laughs> so yeah, some pretty awesome uh, photos, of course. He was a great photo of Armin Tanny, Pudgy Stockton, who used to have her own fitness studio training. There you go. Pudgy Stockton training a client in her gym in the early 1950s. Actually, Alex Ardenti might be very interested in this kind of photo. Um, Alex, if you're out there, let me know if you want any photos of these um, from this book. We've got some really old nostalgic photos here. Uh, from Muscle Beach as well as uh, of Pudgy and others training clients in their gym. You might be interested in that. Some really cool photos, I have to admit. Here's a, the cover with uh, George Eiffman and Mim Sherlock on the sands of Muscle Beach. Now here's a really, oh wow, this is cool. This is a, um, a promotional card 
like an, a gym advertisement for Pudgy's gym. You can see Abby Pudgy Stockton, foremost female physical culturist. Ah, oh, this is sweet. Here you go, as, it's, as I just said, Pudgy Stockton on a promotional postcard for her gym business. That is awesome. This stuff is really cool. I've never seen that before. So here's another um, gym. I'm not sure which one. It might be, oh, this is a Vince Klein's gym. I'm pretty sure. It's Tessie Pudgy Stockton balancing a dumbbell and husband. Well, that's not a dumbbell, first of all. The author probably doesn't know much about uh, weights uh, because she can't recognize that this is Sig Sigmund Klein's gym and that she's not holding a, a dumbbell, she's holding a barbell, right? And it says here clearly in a New York gym, so that's actually Professor Attila or Sig Klein's gym because Sig Klein um, inherited the gym after Professor Attila passed away. Yeah, there's some pretty awesome photos. That's a great cover of Armand Tanny on strength and health. Yeah, some sweet, sweet photos. Yeah, so that's a quick peek at Muscle Beach, written by Marla Matza Rose, where the best bodies in the world started a fitness revolution. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this quick look at Muscle Beach, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. You can support my work. I'm always buying books, old books. Um, yeah, so if you want to support my work, please donate via PayPal. You can uh, support me via Patreon. Visit my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com for out-of-print books and courses on old-school bodybuilding. And um, you can also take full uh, advantage of my affiliation with NSP Nutrition by using my code GEB20. Or um, you can also get a, a discount at Old School Labs by using my code BOOKWORM12 where you get a 12% discount. That also helps me uh, because I get a bit of commission from these sales. Anyway, once again, hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.